sorry, it's not just the government and Mr. Chidambaram who are worried after 122 licenses are cancelled. As many as 79 million consumers are now quite quite uh, frightened about what may happen. Also on Dalal Street, the aftershocks of the Supreme Court's announcement on 2G licenses had became apparent quite early in the day. Stock prices of companies whose licenses have been cancelled, well, they dipped sharply on the Sensex. For telecom companies, there are really, really hard times ahead. A historic verdict that shocked corporates sent customers into a tizzy. As dramatic judgment played out, telecom shares tanked, 2G rumblings were palpable at the Lal Street. Unitec closed almost 7% lower. Videocon was also down by about 1%. The only telecom company that gained from the scenario was Bharti Airtel, which closed almost 7% higher than its opening rate. Rumors swirled about how the verdict would impact the subscribers. Amongst the licenses cancelled, Uninor has the largest customer base of 36.31 million subscribers. Idea boasts of another 17.15 million customers. System Asham has about 15 million. The Telecom Regulatory Authority of India stepped in to pacify the customers. On the consumers, not really much because these consumers of the licenses whose license are being cancelled are only about 5% of the total subscriber base. There is a mobile number portability uh, provisions and they can always take recourse to mobile number portability. And Cellular Operators Association of India dismissed talk of any impact on tariffs. And uh, there may be some pressures on pricing from general inflation, that type of thing, overall cost, but this itself should not have a material impact on increase of prices. What's most important to watch now is how will the tariff movement be impacted by this judgment. There's no denying the fact that the new operators constitute only about 5% of the total subscriber base. But another thing that cannot be ruled out is the fact that in circles where the new operators have rolled out, tariffs have come significantly down. But customers okay. remained on the edge. I am in a position of shock actually. I don't know what to do now. Yes, probably I have to change my subscriber now. I don't know where to go. Uh, rectified as soon as possible and uh, cancelling these connections is not a good idea I guess because it has to be uh, from the government so it has to take the only sole responsibility for this and rectify the mistake Frantic statements were issued by various companies whose licenses were cancelled some were defensive, others plain defiant Aircel and DWL licenses do not fall under the list of 2G licenses granted under the thereupon by the DOT circular dated January 10, 2008, which has been quashed by the Supreme Court today. We have been unfairly treated as we simply followed government process we were asked to. We were shocked to see that Uninor is being penalized for faults the court has found in the government process. It is unfortunate that a serious incumbent operator like Idea Cellular is being made to suffer due to this cancellation of licenses despite being fully compliant at each stage of the license allocation process. But it's not just about 79 million customers. As the future 2G roadmap is drawn, even banks who have an exposure of more than 26,000 pro rupees across these 122 licenses will watch the developments closely. Bureau Report, headlines today.